Right, well, everyone knows I love a good pub, but is there anything more annoying than ordering a plate of chips than arriving on a shovel or a piece of roof slate, for example? Basically, something other than an actual plate. Or, you know, I suppose, if the rugby is on, or the football instead, maybe we could do something else. But, no, seriously, though, I, I get wound up by this. I once got served a roast dinner in a pint glass. What? Yeah, you heard. Well, uh, apparently this is a, a frustration shared by many of our viewers and listeners because Graham wrote in uh, to say this. Why is it a struggle to get food actually served on plates these days? The great British boozer is dying a death. And it got us thinking, you know, are pubs trying to be too posh with their mm. menus and um, with how they, they serve their foods? Because I think most people just get a, a normal plate, put some chips on there, put pie, gravy... Bit of, uh, feed me, basically. Yeah, just feed yeah. Me. You just want, you don't want it all fancy, do you? But well, no, I don't. No, yeah. I don't. Also, I um, I heard. I don't know whether or not this is true, but I heard that if you serve things, you know, those wooden plaques, yes. whatever. That's actually less hygienic than a plate because yeah, things get in the grooves, etc. Yeah, yeah, so I would actually, have so. you know, they're deadly. Anyway, right. Uh, is it a good thing though that pubs are kind of going a bit, going a bit Up nouveau market, reach, yeah. nouveau reach? Anyway, Adam Brooks joins us now, a fan favourite here at GB News to talk about this, and of course he knows a thing or two about running a good <laughs> pub. Adam, what's the most ridiculous thing that you serve in one of your pubs? <laughs> 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 I'm a bit guilty that the slate, I took over a pub ah. in 2014 and I actually serve a few starters on slates. Uh, they were already there, but um, I'm 98% to serve my stuff on plate. You know, I'm not, I'm not really into this, um, this posh movement, this um, trendy movement with, with mm. that, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Do you think pubs are becoming too gentrified, to, to, I suppose, to in a way to sort of stay relevant and maybe pretend they're a bit more upmarket than they are to attract more business? Because I really do think people don't, when they go into a pub, they just want the food to taste good and they don't really care about all the bells and whistles. Well, look, there's two sort of different types of pubs. I've got two different types of pubs. You know, one that's predominantly for, for drinkers and, and one that's predominantly, you know, for, for, for diners. And I think we see in the 1990s with the birth of the gastro pub, uh, and that came about because the government changed. Uh, they brought out a bill where, where pub, pub co's had to sort of dispose of their, 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 their estates and such. And, and, and entrepreneurs came in and sort of snapped them up. So... A lot of gastro pubs were born in the 90s, so that's that's one sort of movement that changed. And also with the, the you know the smoking ban in 2007, pubs had to change again. Many of their models had to change. So look, as society changes as well, pubs will sort of go with that to some extent. Um, I mean, some of the lists that are, are, I've read from the article, you know, where this all sort of uh, comes from, you know. Um, are, are ridiculous you know so serving food in a pint glass uh especially a cottage pie or a roast is just obscene um you know so, some of the, the bizarre toilet signs that i've seen on there and uh uh we've got you know um quirky quirky things in pubs that are really sort of they're, they're bordering crazy to be fair um mm. it, it's it's a strange movement, but I think a lot of these a lot of these pubs you're finding like Islington and Hoxton and and places yeah. gentrified areas that are, are trying to be a little bit out there. I mean, you know, the Great British pub does still uh, is still out there, and um, you know they have got to move with the times. But some of these things are ridiculous. No, look, I agree with you, and I've worked in a fair few pubs in my time as well, and you know that's kind of that was my. That was my job, I suppose, for numerous years when I was a bit younger. And, you know, nothing... The, 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 the great British staples is basically... They're, they're there for a reason. That's what most people like. It's what most people order, as far as I'm concerned. So people try and tart it up and they go, you know, start providing something that people don't want. Mm. I, I just don't... I, I don't really understand it. And I think it's not, it's not... There's not really a market for it, is there? But... Um, but so, so what's... Can, can I just ask, kind of, while, I've, while I've got you, what are, the, what are the names of the places you own and, and where can we find your menus? Right, so I've got the Three Colts pub, which is a backstreet sort of boozer type pub. Uh, it's seventy five percent drink, twenty five percent food, so you can come and enjoy a nice drink. And uh, obviously, there is a food menu there. Uh, uh, it's the Three Colts dot com. Um, but you know, and I've got the Owl in High Beach, which is more a food family house. You know, you take your kids there, or you walk up through the forest and have a, a nice meal rather than stand at the bar uh, and have a drink. You know, so there's two different types of pubs that I've got there. Um, 
and I said, you know, the pub the pub trade is a great trade, and and that there's pubs out there to suit everyone. Um, I do think we need to stay away from a lot of the nonsense that we've seen, uh, especially on these tweets. Um, you know, so, so some of the mad quirky things that pubs yeah. are doing are, are a little bit silly but you know the great british pub is out there and they're in all different forms and and types to suit everyone good stuff adam thank you very much adam brooks uh, of thank course you. talking about pubs basically which is yeah. i think i think that's you know if i went on mastermind right yes i think pubs would be my specialist topic what would you cook what's your favorite pub meal my favorite pub meal everything um, no, my favourite pub meal is... I like a roast dinner. I like a roast dinner on a Sunday. If, if pork's on the menu, I, I, and yeah. by pork I mean a pork belly, then that is absolutely what... Well. I don't even bother looking at the rest of the menu because it just hits the spot every time. Pubs. What's great. that? You got it, you got it all, have, have you? a great pork belly at both Ooh. my pubs, so oh, um, it, maybe Adam. you two have to come down. Don't threaten me with a good time. We Cheers, mate. Anyway, well, thank all right. You. <laughs> thank you, um, Adam.